What's up everyone? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an album review to do for you and I'm going to be talking to you about the upcoming new album from the band Dragged Into Sunlight entitled Widowmaker. This is scheduled to be released on November the 6th through Prosthetic Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they're based out of the United Kingdom. And to be perfectly honest, this is a band that honestly has a sound that's almost too difficult to describe. Because on one end of the spectrum, you have elements of noise and ambience with some sludge and doom and crust. And on the other end, you have elements of black metal, death metal, and ambience. This is a band that just takes logic and throws it right out of the window. And they create a sound that's just absolutely dynamic, chaotic, and creative. I got introduced to this band a couple of years ago with their 2009 debut, Hatred for Mankind. I was just absolutely floored by this album. From the sick Justin Bartlett artwork coming into this album, I was expecting craziness. And it delivered craziness. From the lyrical content, to the shrieking vocals, the guitar riffs, the bass, the drum work, it was just absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely loved everything about this record, even the inclusion of vocal samples from convicted murderers, just the kind of crazy ideas this band has. It was just amazing. And had this not been a reissue, if it had came out, let's say maybe in 2011 specifically, if it was brand new, I would have put it in my top 10, let alone make it my album of the year. And three years later, we have a brand new album. This is their official sophomore release. Um, what Widowmaker basically is, is one continuously long song spread across three tracks and running around 40 minutes in length. And there is just so much craziness going on within this song. Because for the first part of this song, you're going to get straight up instrumentation just a very almost calming guitar strumming. It's as if you've walked into the soundtrack of a Western film, Ennio Morricone doing the score. You have that type of feeling the minute you listen to this record. Then you start to hear the inclusion of violins, and then the vocal samples start to kick in, and the music starts to get louder. And once you get to the second part of this track, which is the true meat and backbone of this record, you get sucked into the dragged into sunlight craziness, and you are going to be in for one amazing ride. It's just fantastic what this band is doing. The guitar riffs on here are just absolutely flooring. Just the way the riffs are delivered, the way the leads are, just the way everything, every musical composition that's on here sounds, it's delivered perfectly, and it just gets stuck in your head. Just the way the distortion is in the guitar sound, it gets, it gets creative. A little repetitious, but still, you appreciate what's going on with the sound here. It's just absolutely fantastic. And the same could be said for the bass tone. The bass tone is absolutely perfect for this mix. Just the way that it's played and the way that it sounds. It's incredibly dirty, filthy, gritty, audible and clear, very well mixed and produced. It doesn't distract you from the way the guitar is being played. It just suits this album nicely. I just love what's going on with the bass here. It's amazing. Um, Drum-wise... The drums have a very methodical and patient delivery to them, but the way everything sounds, it's just amazing. Just the way the kick sounds, the way the snare is, the way the cymbal sound, to the double bass and blast beats, to the more faster parts, because there's a lot of stamina going on with the drums, and it just sounds absolutely frantic and crazy. The drums really do hold your attention throughout this, this song, and whenever they do appear, it just sounds fantastic. And the vocals... The vocalist sounds like a man depraved. Just the craziness and insanity in his voice will just make you 
want to listen to everything he has to say. Just the way he delivers his growls, his mid to low kind of growls, to an almost crazy, high-pitched kind of kind of shriek. It's just amazing the kind of style this vocalist has. It's his own kind of style, and it really does sound amazing. Just so much power and emotion in his voice. He just delivers every single word that he says just awesome. And even the return of the vocal samples from the last record, they do appear in spurts here throughout this entire record, mainly through the first and third part of this track. It's just incredibly moody and dark. It's just amazing what's going on with this song. There's so much going on here. As soon as it ends, you probably will wonder to yourself, what did I just listen to? What did I just get myself involved in? And then you listen to it some more, and then you'll appreciate what's going on here. So overall, this is an absolutely stellar follow-up to an awesome debut album. There's just so much going on with this track. It is just absolutely amazing. I love the musicianship. I love how daring it is. I love the fact that it dares to be a lot different from the other releases that have come out in 2012. And Dragged Into Sunlight really have made an important statement with this, um, with this, uh, this single track. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you a link in the description box to Terrorizer.com where you can stream this album and hear it for yourself. Be your own judge as to what you think of it. It will be available next week. There should be CD and vinyl versions available. There's also a vinyl version with a special mix made specifically for the vinyl. That's the one that I'm getting. And um, hopefully you'll enjoy it too. If you were a fan of the first album, you will definitely enjoy this new effort. It's something completely different, but that's what Dragged Into Sunlight know how to do. This is just absolutely genius stuff. So again, the album is Widowmaker by Dragged Into Sunlight. This is released on Prosthetic Records. Support this band. Check it out when it comes out. And I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. This is really, really awesome stuff. Support Dragged Into Sunlight. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And until the next time, Army Hell out.